It is now time to hear from you as we'll be taking your calls as well as reading your messages. All you have to do is tell us about your movie or TV series, what you enjoyed about your choice, the actors in it, and most importantly, your rating of the movie or TV series over 10, okay? So let's uh, check your messages. And I'm on X, Kalipaka is saying, good day gang, I'm currently watching anyone but you. It's an American movie about two lovers, B, acted by Sidney Sweeney, and Ben, acted by Glenn Powell. These two pairs can't leave themselves no matter the situation. I will rate it nine over 10. October celebrants many for East Flash crew. <laughs> okay, so on Facebook, I've got this one from Oketunde Eni Lolobo Oluwashi, who says, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Mm. It's Beetlejuice. No, I haven't. I've been want I've actually been wanting to see oh, really? it. Oh, really? Yes. I've not even heard Because I've it. seen, uh, I saw the part one, and this is like part two. So okay. it's becoming like a franchise. So I've been wanting to see it, but I hope to see it pretty soon so I can come okay. talk about it. Interesting, interesting. So what have you been watching? Uh, I've been watching so many things, although I've been meaning to go uh, on Netflix to see... Um, Lisha B. Oh, yes. Do that. I've yes, do I that. have. There are so many things I have on my list. Emily in Paris. Uh, I, I, but I've not been able, I've just been very, very busy. But I have been seeing some. And some, there are things that I don't even plan for. Maybe I just mm. watch a particular cable yeah. uh, network and then they are just bringing all sorts to me. Then there is the average Joe. Average Joe comes to me unwillingly and then I'm like, what the heck is this <laughs> all right i've seen average joe i've seen um uh different things um uh okay so on tiktok too um i've not been able to see the uh, series the series that followed the ones that i've been watching of young sheldon but i've been seeing a part of them oh. and i'm like oh because it's not on netflix yet uh, that was where I watched the whole thing. So I am just waiting on them to put that one where on the platform where I saw, uh, so I can see the remainder of Young Sheldon. Yeah, so, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, so I have been seeing different movies and series. I'm still watching The Resident, which I spoke about the last time that it's about saving lives and going the extra mile just to make sure that no matter, um, even if people do not have insurance, you try to save their life. And then I've seen Lisha V. Oh, you've seen it? Yes, I've seen don't Lisha V. I'm not going to, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about it. I'll talk to you about it later. Then I also saw this movie titled A Part of You. Okay. And it's about the struggles that people, it's about the struggles that people go through in their lives, especially after the loss of a loved one, especially after the loss of a loved one. So um, that's basically what it's about. And I also saw a movie titled Uglies. Uglies is about the beauty, how do I put it? The beauty ratio. So in that specific place, in that um, city, there's this part they call the outcast. And um, something happened, there was a tragic event. So every other person that's not in the city, they see them as being outcast. And then those in the city, when you get to a certain age, you get into the dormitory. And then when you're 16, on your 16th birthday, you're eligible to go for, what do they call it? You're eligible to go for a surgery that will make you get to the beauty standard that's needed to live in the city. And that's what it's about. So this young lady has been looking forward to doing that. But along the line, different revelations come up and she realizes that everybody's actually beautiful without the surgery. Interesting. It's just a lot of back and forth, trust Interesting. me. Interesting. So I saw one Ghanaian movie and it's called Hogtie. Um, so when I started watching this, I didn't know what I was in for. Uh, but at the end of the day, it was really, really worth a while. So it was just about this rich person uh, who was even a rich child and just grew up and felt that he should do something for a particular community. And the community was so rotten, you know, this, they, they had so much rot in that community that he was thinking that he could fix it for them. So he met like the most educated person there, the only educated person there, mm. actually. And so that one took him somewhere to a space that he could use to uh, make a recreational center for them. And so at, at first, when he did all those, um, the, the people were not forthcoming. 
They just they were hungry. Mm. They were thieves. They were, you know, they were into prostitution. They were into so many things. Wow. They were just so bad, badly behaved. And somehow he started uh, introducing food to them, and then they would come because of the food and all of those things. There but some, a lot of but some, movies. Yeah, but some of them were actually still very skeptical, um, skeptical mm. about it. So there was one part that one guy, okay, so this rich dude also went to their mathematics teacher, and that one said that she's been teaching there for three years, and the guy asked what they needed. She said they needed to uniform, they needed mm -hmm. books, they needed, it provided everything. Nice. And so it was tutoring them after school hours, you know, he would ask them what they want to become. There was a particular guy that said he wanted to become a doctor, but his father is always telling him that he cannot become that doctor. So one day, mm. it was at that spot where, you know, um, he was teaching them and all of this. So as he just turned his back, another child went into his bag. And so he saw the child and then they started fighting. And so this guy was very angry. Like, if you know that you're going to fight here, yeah. you better leave this place. And that one said, he wanted to take something from my bag. And that other guy now said, yes, it is wheat. <laughs> That his father sells it and he helps his father to sell it. Oh wow. my God. So that was how this guy heard and then he went to the police thinking that the police could help. Oh. And so the police was like, oh my God, it's so good to have somebody like you in this community. Ah, uh ah, -uh, thank you so much for coming. Immediately as he just left like this, the police called the father. They were actually in sync and said, Ooh, oh, there is a particular so guy that is trying to do Mr. Tugudo. You better go. So they started looking for how to bring him down, how to kill him. So at the end of the day, they dealt with him. They almost, they lied against him that he raped somebody. And so Jungle Justice started, they started beating him, throwing stuff and all that. They almost killed him. And so somehow they, um, his wife appeared at the scene, took him away. They went to the hospital. They said that he didn't die, but his spinal cord was badly affected. Hogtie is, is the name of the movie. I said it when I started talking about it. Hogtie. H-O-G. T-I-E, Hog Tie, is a Ghanaian movie. You can look out for it. It's very, very nice. So they almost killed him. And uh, that was how he just stopped. In fact, it was, it was now very, he was disabled. Oh. Yeah. So the last thing that I saw was where the wife, they were already relocating. And the wife said, you have really tried for the African people, yeah. but they are not willing to. So my point exactly is that there are some times that, yes, you have good intentions. You want to help some mm. people. But because of their background, because of yeah. their mentality, because of their mindset, mm -hmm. you cannot do so much for them. True. They would bring you down. I'm not saying that you should not be kind to people, mm -hmm. but I mean, wisdom, emotional intelligence is very, very important. I really enjoyed it. It's a Ghanaian movie, and I was really, really impressed. Again, the title is Hog Tie, H O G T I E. Okay, so let me just take this last message on Facebook. Um, Abdul Wahab bin Muhammad Talith. Says uprising 2024 movie are rated 7.5 over oh, 10. Really? Perfectly depicts the theory of Marxism. Okay. All right. I'm really, really impressed yes, that I you am. know that um, you know you can actually still watch. Let's see whether we still have some messages right there on Facebook. No. Uh, and you can also put a call through. <laughs> Let us know the movies that you're watching. You can suggest movies to us. We really, really love.